everybody, it's Mike from Chili Pepper Madness. Today I'm going to show you how to make a delicious seafood gumbo. I've got a big pot of seafood gumbo cooking right here. And uh, uh, gumbo is one of my favorite recipes in the world. It's Cajun cooking at its finest. Uh, this seafood version is just outstanding. Uh, it all starts with a roux and uh, incorporates lots of chili peppers, the Cajun Holy Trinity, uh, along with uh, fresh okra and lots of different seafood. Uh, there, there's different ways that you can customize and I'll talk about how you can do that. Um, but this is just outstanding. I love seafood gumbo so much. I hope you do too. Uh, let me show you how to make it my way. All right, let's uh, get making some seafood gumbo. The first thing we want to do is make a roux. They pretty much start most gumbos with a good roux. So I've got three quarters of a cup here of vegetable oil. And you can use peanut oil is actually really good here. A nice neutral oil is great. And I'm going to stir in three quarter cup here of flour, just all purpose flour. Get that in. And anytime you're, you're uh, making a roux like this, you just want to stir. It's constantly stirring. So what we're doing is we're cooking down the, um, the flour and the oil and it's gonna form a nice base for our gumbo and it's gonna thicken it up very nicely. So, uh, all right, so check this out. You can see how it's already starting to break down into kind of a slurry and um, just keep stirring. So making a roux this way is gonna take a good 15 to 20 minutes or so, maybe a little longer, maybe a little less. Um, really depends on the color of the roux that you're looking for. Um, I like to cook mine down to almost like a real light chocolate brown, uh, but you could do like a, a much lighter roux, do more of a blonde roux, which will come up with more of a thicker gumbo. But um, a lot of people like to cook theirs down to a dark, dark, rich chocolate brown, and that'll take uh, a bit longer, but it'll uh, result in more of a, a thinner uh, seafood gumbo. Um, but uh, I'll come back after a few minutes and we'll see how nice and dark this gets. Um, right now it's very light in color and uh, you'll see how it darkens as you keep cooking. But uh, keep stirring, just keep stirring the roux. Okay, I've been stirring the roux for several minutes here, cooking it down and you can see that uh, here we've achieved a sort of a light peanut butter color, a light, light to medium brown. And uh, you can stop at this point if you want to and move forward with the recipe, uh, or you can just keep going and cooking it down a little bit darker. I'm gonna keep going, and I'm gonna cook this down a few more minutes, uh, several more minutes, until I get more of a light chocolate color brown. So uh, I'll come back when that's ready. Okay, we've got a real nice color here on our roux. It's getting to be a nice, lighter chocolate brown. And again, I can keep going. This has been about 15 to 20 minutes or so in for stirring. And uh, again, you could keep going dark, darker. And you can see how it's getting to a, a light chocolatey brown color as I keep cooking it down. And I think we're getting really close to finishing the roux here. This is a color that I personally like, so I'm gonna move forward with the recipe. So still stirring here a little bit. Uh, we're gonna add the Cajun Holy Trinity, um, which is a base for so many different recipes. And that's really onions, peppers, and celery. I've got a good large onion. Just gonna stir it in there. And I've got some chili peppers here. Usually green bell pepper is traditional. Um, but I'm using kind of a mixture of some uh, sweet colored bells and jalapeno because I like a little extra heat with mine. Shocker, shocker. And I got a couple of stalks of celery. Let's drop that in. Get it stirred up. Set these aside. And I also have okra. Um, I got some uh, fresh okra now that I'm living in the south. Uh, I can get fresh okra much more easily than I could when I was up in the Chicago area. So I'm going to drop this in here, this slimy vegetable. Um, so the okra will break down and it won't be so slimy after you cook it down a bit. Um, and it's gonna add a lot of uh, uh, flavor to the dish and also help to thicken it up. So it's, it's super delicious. Oh, I love okra. And I also have a few cloves of garlic that I'm going to add in here, some uh, gorgeous garlic. I like lots of garlic. The more garlic, the merrier. So uh, let me just go ahead and get this stirred up here. And uh, we're just going to let it sit and cook down, let the vegetables break down for uh, about five to six minutes or so and soften up and then we will continue on with the recipe. So I'll be right back. Okay, I've got all my vegetables all cooked down here. Uh, it's been about five minutes or so and things are softening up nicely and my okra is no longer slimy. Um, so we're going to go ahead and continue. I have all my extra ingredients here now. Um, so I'm using beer, but you can use uh, a bit more stock if you want to. I like a little bit of beer in mine. So I've just got a light lager. 
I'm gonna stir that in there. And I have some stock. Now, I usually use like a good seafood stock. I'll make my own sometimes. Um, but this is just kind of a mixed stock that I'm using today. And I've got five cups. Um, and you can use anywhere from four to six cups of stock. Um, really to your preference. And it's, uh, it, it's based on how thick you want your gumbo to be. So, um, you know, use four for like a, a much thicker gumbo. And you can always add a little bit more if you need to, if it gets too thick, um, up to six cups. But uh, so I've got six cups total a little bit more than six cups total of liquid. And I've got some seasonings here. I've got a homemade Cajun seasoning blend. And you can find good Cajun seasoning blends all over the place. There's some real good ones out there. Set that aside. And I have some cayenne pepper. Now this is a little extra heat for me. Um, you can use paprika if you want to, or just a bit more Cajun blend. But I like a lot of seasonings in mine. And I've got some salt. Set this aside. And we have some uh, dried thyme that put in there. Fresh is great too, if you got it. I'm gonna add a few bay leaves in here. I like, I love bay leaves. They're just very delicious. I'm gonna stir that in there. And I have some uh, Worcestershire sauce, however you wanna pronounce it. Put that there. And of course, hot sauce. Usually I say it's hot sauce to taste. So you can really add as much or as little as you'd like to. Uh, this is a, a homemade, sort of a Louisiana style. Um, I like to make my own with a blend of peppers. Um, you can use, uh, Tabasco is great. Crystal is, you know, uh, totally local to New Orleans and, and Louisiana. Very good hot sauce. Just kind of, <laughs> a little bit more, a little bit more. A little more hot sauce. Hot sauce to taste. And I'm gonna go ahead and stir this. Just stir this all together to get everything nicely incorporated. And then we will uh, bring this to a quick boil and then reduce the heat and just let it simmer. Uh, you want to simmer for uh, about an hour to let all these wonderful flavors develop. And uh, once it's all ready, you can simmer it longer too. If you simmer it for anywhere from one and a half to two hours, you'll get even more flavor. Just keep an eye on it simmering. You may want to add a little bit of liquid to it. Don't let it get too dried out or anything. Um, and all that beautiful, wonderful flavor is going to uh, fill the house, all these aromas, and mm, seafood, gumbo. Uh, and then once you're done with that, we'll add the seafood and uh, we will enjoy some gumbo. So, all right, I'll come back when this is ready. All right, it's smelling really good in here, you guys. Uh, I've had the simmering for a good hour and a half and uh, it's uh, reduced and thickened up super nice. It's perfect. Um, at this point, you could add some more stock to it, some uh, chicken or seafood or vegetable stock. Uh, broth to uh, you know thin it out just a little bit if you want to. I like the thickness of it. Uh, you can even use water if you want. Um, but let me take a quick taste. Mm. Oh yeah, that is delicious. I love gumbo. Perfect. So uh, I got my seafood station all set up. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and remove the bay leaves here. Get that out of the way. And now we're gonna cook the uh, seafood. The seafood doesn't need to cook very long. Um, only about 10 minutes or so in here. Um, and you have many options. This is a uh, free-for-all seafood gumbo. You can use uh, fish, crawfish, pretty much anything you want to. Uh, this is a combination that I kind of use all the time. I've got a good pound of whitefish here. And you can use different whitefish, just whatever your favorites are. Um, catfish is super popular. It's very delicious. Get this set aside. And I've got some shrimp. Pop the shrimp in there. Ooh, look at that, yum. I got a, almost a pound of shrimp, you can use as much as you want. Here I've got a pound of uh, crab meat, this is the claw meat. And uh, again, you can use whatever kind of crab you'd like. Uh, crawfish, delicious here, super popular. Crawfish, yum. One of Patty's favorites. And I've got some smoked oysters, I love smoked oysters. These are just, uh, yeah, delicious. Make a po' boy with my smoked oysters. Very good, very good. All right, so just get it all mixed in here. And uh, again, I'm gonna let this simmer for a good 10 minutes so that the shrimp and the whitefish will cook up. And uh, then we will come back and we will check out our awesome seafood gumbo. Be right back. All right, guys, uh, this has been uh, simmering for another 10 minutes or so, and it looks like my seafood is nicely cooked through. You can see how thick this is. This is like really, really thick seafood gumbo. Uh, I don't know if you'll get it this thick in the restaurant, so that's why it's 
you know, so much seafood in there. This is home. Oh my God, it's so good. Look at that. So, uh, so that's it. When you're ready to serve your seafood gumbo, uh, I've got some fresh chopped parsley that I'm just going to add right in. This is going to give it a nice fresh pop to it. Get that stirred in. A little, uh, little color to it and a little, little touch of fresh green. It's very good. This is optional. You don't have to do this if you don't want to. And stir it through. And of course, if you are a uh, spicy food lover, you can adjust with hot sauce to your personal tastes. Um, I'll probably add a little bit more to, to the bowl for myself so I'm not over spicing Patty. She does like it spicy, but not as spicy as me. So, uh, but that's okay. So, all right. Yeah, look at this. Gorgeous, isn't it? Beautiful, I can't wait to eat it. But, uh, but that's it guys, that is how you make seafood gumbo. And again, it's super easy to customize. You can cook the roux as long as you want to, make it a lighter, make it darker. Uh, you can add a bit more liquid to it if you want, if you want it to be a little bit thinner, not so thick, you know, stretch it out for more people. Um, you can add more uh, seafood to it, less seafood. You can add different cuts of seafood, different types, pretty much anything you want. Uh, use your favorites, do all shrimp or just do all fish. Uh, all oysters. I mean, there's so many great ways that you can customize seafood gumbo. Uh, but this is one of my favorites. I love gumbo so much. Seafood is outstanding. Uh, but that's it. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. If you make it, let me know uh, what your favorite version is. Send me photos, send me pics, all that stuff. Um, but yeah, that's it. Mike from Chili Pepper Madness. I will see you next time. Bye.